Question, 1. A network technician wishes to use an RDP client on their Windows OS to remotely troubleshoot a problem on another Windows machine. Which of the following ports needs to be opened for the built-in Windows RDP server to allow this type of network connection? ATCP port 1720 BTCP port 636 CTCP port 3389 DTCP port 445 The correct answer is CTCP port 3389 Question, 2. Telnet, select three answers. A. Encrypts network connection. B. Provides username and password authentication. C. Transmits data in an unencrypted form. D. Does not provide authentication. E. Enables remote login and command execution. The correct answers are B. Provides username and password authentication C. Transmits data in an unencrypted form E. Enables remote login and command execution Question, 3. Which of the following answers refers to a secure replacement for Telnet? A. SLP B. IPsec C. SSH D. AFP The correct answer is CSSH. Question 4. Which of the following answers refers to a non proprietary remote access tool that enables control over another computer on the network with the use of a graphical user interface? ASSH. BRDP. C Telnet. DVNC. The correct answer is DVNC. Question 5. A type of transmission that takes place in two directions simultaneously is known as A. Full duplex B. Broadcast C. Half duplex D. Multicast The correct answer is A. Full duplex Question 6 If a network adapter's speed and duplex property is set to half duplex, communication on the network will be taking place A. Only in one direction at a time B. In both directions at half the speed C. In one direction at half the speed D. In both directions simultaneously The correct answer is A. Only in one direction at a time. Question 7. Auto negotiation is an Ethernet procedure that allows two connected devices to exchange information about their capabilities, such as supported speed and duplex modes, and automatically configure connection parameters based on the highest performance settings supported by both devices. A. True. B. False. The correct answer is A. True. Question 8. Which of the following answers describes the correct sequence of steps for accessing the speed and duplex settings of an Ethernet adapter in MS Windows? A. Control Panel, Category View, Dash View Devices and Printers Dash Right Click on the Device Dash Select Properties from the Pop Up Menu Dash Click the Configure Button Dash on the Advanced Tab. Select the speed and duplex settings. B. Control Panel, Icon View, 
Dash Internet Options Applet Dash Connections Tab Dash Click the LAN Settings Button Dash Right Click on the Device Dash Select Properties from the Pop-up Menu Dash Click the Configure Button Dash on the Advanced Tab Select the Speed and Duplex Settings See Control Panel Category View Dash Network and Internet Dash View Network Computers and Devices Dash Right Click on the Device Dash Select Properties from the Pop-up Menu Dash Click the Configure Button Dash on the Advanced Tab Select the speed and duplex settings. D control panel, icon view, dash network and sharing center applet dash change adapter settings dash right click on the device dash select properties from the pop up menu dash click the configure, button dash on the advanced tab, select the speed and duplex settings. The correct answer is D control panel, icon view, dash network and sharing center applet dash change adapter settings dash right click on the device dash select properties from the pop up menu dash click the configure, button dash on the advanced tab, select the speed and duplex settings. Question, 9. A solution that allows to turn on a network host remotely by sending a broadcast frame is called. A remote access. B Jumbo Frame C Backdoor Access D Wake on LAN The correct answer is D Wake on LAN Question, 10 Which of the following answers describes the correct sequence of steps for accessing the magic packet settings of an Ethernet adapter in MS Windows? A Control Panel, Icon View, Dash Internet Options Applet Dash Connections Tab Dash Click the LAN Settings Button Dash Right Click on the Device Dash Select Properties from the Pop-up Menu Dash Click the Configure, Button Dash on the Advanced Tab, Select the Magic Packet Settings. B Control Panel, Category View, Dash network and internet dash view network computers and devices dash right click on the device dash select properties from the pop up menu dash click the configure button dash on the advanced tab select the magic packet settings see control panel icon view dash network and sharing center applet dash change adapter settings dash right click on the device dash select properties from the pop up menu dash click the configure button dash on the advanced tab Select the magic packet settings. D control panel, category view, dash view devices and printers dash right click on the device dash select properties from the pop up menu dash click the configure, button dash on the advanced tab, select the magic packet settings. The correct answer is C control panel, Icon view, dash network and sharing center applet dash change adapter settings dash right click on the device dash select properties from the pop up menu dash click the configure, button dash on the advanced tab, select the magic packet settings. Question, 11. Which of the following solutions is used for controlling network resources and assigning priority to different types of traffic? A measured service. B Acceptable Use Policy, AUP C Fair Access Policy D Quality of Service, QOS The correct answer is D Quality of Service, QOS Question, 12 In order to operate an integrated component such as network interface card, NIC, may need to be first. A. Updated with the latest driver. B. Verified against the hardware compatibility list, HCL. C. Checked with a loopback plug. D. Enabled in the advanced BIOS settings menu. The correct answer is. D enabled in the advanced BIOS settings menu. Question, 13. 
Time Machine is a built-in backup utility for A Linux B Mac OS C Windows D Other The correct answer is B Mac OS Question 14 which of the following is a Mac OS disk maintenance tool? A defrag. B disk cleanup. C disk management. D C H K D S K. E disk utility. The correct answer is E disk utility. Question 15. Which of the following Mac OS utilities can be used for detecting and repairing disk related problems? A CHKDSK B Disk Utility C Disk Management D First Aid, in Disk Utility The correct answer is D First Aid, in Disk Utility Question, 16. Which of the following locations in Mac OS provides access to application updates menu? A Explorer B App Store C iCloud D Spotlight The correct answer is B App Store Question, 17. The App Store menu in Mac OS provides access to A. Driver updates B. Firmware updates C. Antivirus updates D. Anti-malware updates E. All of the above The correct answer is E. All of the above Question, 18. In Mac OS, the term local snapshot refers to a backup copy of all personal and system files stored on the local machine instead of the preferred external drive. A true. B false. The correct answer is. A true. Question, 19. Which of the following allows to create a backup copy of the entire contents of a disk drive, which may include a pre-configured OS installation, and replicate the drive to a new computer? A. Clean install. B. In-place upgrade. C. Repair installation. D. Drive imaging. The correct answer is D. Drive Imaging Question, 20 Which of the following Mac OS utilities allows to create slash restore a disk image? A. App Store B. Disk Utility C. Time Machine D. System Restore The correct answer is B. Disk Utility Question, 21 A type of user interface that enables the execution of operating system commands is commonly referred to as A. GUI B. Shell C. CLI D. Terminal The correct answer is B. Shell Question, 22 Which of the following system utilities provides access to different command line shells in Mac OS? A. Command EXE B. PowerShell C. Command.com D. Terminal
The correct answer is D. Terminal. Question 23. Which of the following is a non proprietary RDP alternative that enables control over another computer on the network with the use of a graphical user interface? AVTP, BVRF, CVTC, DVNC. The correct answer is DVNC. Question 24. Which of the following built in Mac OS tools enables remote access to another Mac computer? A screen sharing. B remote desktop protocol, RDP. C go to my PC. D remote assistance. The correct answer is A screen sharing. Question 25. An unresponsive application slash process in Mac OS can be terminated with the use of A Alt plus F4 B Task Kill command C Force Quit D Shutdown command The correct answer is C-Force Quit.